Hello my classy people, how y'all doing? Welcome to Legends of the Game. This is our fifth installment uh, May for Legends of the Game. I wanted to do it after the Derby because uh, we're going to be featuring the 13 Triple Crown winners in the history of the inauguration of the Triple Crown, which includes the uh, Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and of course the Belmont Stakes. And it's been 147 runnings, and there's only been 13 Triple Crown winners. So I wanted to take a look at uh, those 13, but the one who stands alone, in my opinion, is Secretariat. But let's take a look. The first Triple Crown winner was Sir Barton in 1919, Gallon Fox in 1930, Omaha 1935, War Emerald. 1937, Whirl Away, 1941, Count Fleet, 1943, Assault, 1946, Citation, wow, 1948, and the one and only Secretariat, uh, 1973, which was 25 years after the last one, which was Citation. And then Seattle Slough in 1977, we all remember that. Affirm 1978, Battling with Aladar, and American Pharaoh 2015, and Justify 2018 with quotations. So of the 13, my question was, when I looked at the 13 Triple Crown winners, first, can we have a Triple Crown winner in 2022? Rich Strike, maybe he's the only one that could do it. That's another subject. But of the 13 Triple Crown winners that we do have, who stands apart? In my opinion, it's Secretariat. That's who we want to feature of the 13. Let me know what you think if it's someone else. But let's take a look at Secretariat's record, the accomplishments, the honor that this great Triple Crown winner did you know in 1973 now in my opinion like I said Secretariat uh, 1973 was by bowl ruler and uh, the sire the dam was the name aptly pro was something royal was the dam well when you look at Secretariat 21 starts, 16 wins, 3 seconds, 1 third for $1.3 million. Back then, that's a lot of money in 1972 and 1973. Okay? Now, Secretariat was fold in 1970, died October of 1989 at the age of 19 years old. The first Triple Crown winner, as we said, in 25 years, okay? Very nice. The one thing that stands out to me, other than the 25, uh, 31 length win in the Belmont, which I'm wearing on my shirt here, um, is Secretariat holds the track record still today for all three races. I think that is phenomenal. Secondly, holds a world record at 2 minutes and 24 seconds at a mile and a half at Belmont. That still holds today. Now when you look at the accomplishments of Secretariat, I mean there are second to none. Ron Turcott was our uh, rider of course, 1.3 million, won the Triple Crown, won the Sanford Stakes, the Hopeful, won the Futurity, the Laurel Futurity, the Garden State Futurity, right? My buddy Nate seen that race at Garden State. Also the Arlington Invitation, the Marlboro Cup, the Man of War Stakes, and the Canadian International Stakes. Now, inducted into the Hall of Fame, the U.S. Hall of Fame, the Kentucky Hall of Fame. This is amazing, the Canadian Hall of Fame. Now the coolest thing I think about Secretariat, Secretariat is the only, not only the only Triple Crown, but the only horse with his own U.S. postage stamp, still today, right? I mean, that's just absolutely awesome. So is number two 
Secretariat is number two on the top 100 U.S. racehorses of all time. So folks will argue that Secretariat is the greatest horse of all time, and in my opinion, the greatest triple crown of triple crown winner of all 13. Okay. Uh, when he was a two-year-old, he did win the Champagne, but he was disqualified and placed second. Okay. So again, you folks, our legend of the game, are the 13 Triple Crown winners, which is very hard to do, obviously. But who stands alone? To me, it's hands down. It's Secretary. You're looking at Ron Turcott looking back for the competition 31 limps later. I went back and watched as many races as I could of Secretary, Secretariat and as well as the other 12 Triple Crown winners. Okay, but to me, it's hands down. It's Big Red, right? I never seen Secretariat run. I was a young boy back then, you know, 10 or 11, and I don't know, I've never seen it. But I know quite a few of our listeners have, and one or two of them was there at the Belmont States when the horse won by 31 limbs. So the question is, we're featuring the 13 Triple Crown winners. In my opinion, you tell me. Who stands alone? I think it's Big Red. I think it's Secretariat. And the second question is, can Rich Strike become the 14th Triple Crown winner? Now I know people are going to get up in arms, but he's the only one that can do it in 2022. Now, I'm not saying he can. I'm just saying he's the only one that has a shot at doing it. So let me know what you think. Here is our Legends of the Game. The installment of May, of course, we've been on target the last five months. So also, send in your legend for June. Who do you think we should feature or look at? Horse, trainer, jock, whatever legend you come up with. But in this one, 13 Triple Crown winners. There's only one in your Speedy King's mind that stands atop of the mountain and alone. It's Mr. Secretariat by 31. Whole track records at all three races and the world record also in the Belmont. That was a fantastic horse. Number two on the all-time 100 top horses in America. So let me know. There's your legends of the game. It's Sunday, the day after the Derby. Triple Crown is in front of us. Rich Strike, can you get it done and become number 14? I don't know. I don't think so, but let's see. You're the only one that could do it. Big Red stands alone among the top 13 current Triple Crown winners. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've seen any of these races or any of the Triple Crown races. Comment, as always, like the video, and most of all, stay classy in everything you do. Let's talk about the Big Red Secretariat. Stay classy, folks. Have a great work week.